I first came to Dublin in 1942. Dublin is like a zoo. Because if you used to live here in Dublin, it's really hard to live somewhere else. Bump into somebody that you know pretty much every time you come into town. Yeah. Big enough that you can get away from other people, but also small enough that you can run back into them. We have older stone throughout the city than an awful lot of our contemporary. Having a laugh at the people, random people on the street. So we can stay booking on booze, nothing to lose for the few screws up on the roof. If I have to, that's what I'll do to pass through. I ask. How would you describe the people of Dublin in one word? Crack. <laughs> Crack. <laughs> Hardy love. <laughs> Witty. Friendly. Lively. They're really nice. <laughs> Vivacious. Great. Sound. <laughs> Extremely friendly. Um, lovely. The people in Dublin they are very nice. Uh, the people they are welcome. Like yeah, most of the dubs I met, they've grown up. They're always very easy, easy, easy going, mind you. Friendly. Great. How you going? Uh, vibrant, I suppose. You know. Energetic. Interesting. Friendly. Loose. <laughs> Everyone has a story. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I do, but I couldn't. I couldn't repeat them. <laughs> <laughs> Too many. Um. Oh, you wouldn't have enough fingers on your hands to tell the stories about the people in Dublin. Van Dublin. We love drinking too much, that's why it's funny. <laughs> we like our beer. <laughs> Short and snappy and clean. <laughs> that's us out of the picture. I fell down the stairs. <laughs> I don't know, that's desperate. <laughs> Something was thrown in coppers would probably be true. I once saw a girl uh, fall down a flight of stairs and open uh, the door to a book with her head. And I didn't get allowed into the book because I was laughing so hard at her falling down the stairs. So, uh, yeah. And I was sober. Tinder, great, great Tinder activity. I'll see you. Tinder is a lot There was a day I see some guys here. They are fighting with a guy that cell phone inside the shop and the boats come out. You want to try out their fighting on the streets. And this was the girl. <laughs> Place with character, you know, it's a town full of character. Just um, if I am bad mood or stress, so the birds uh, uh, yeah, increase that, yeah, make me more peaceful, more happy, you know. So everything's just like here, I love the, the natural place like the green fields and uh, fresh air. My mum has a book on things that are overheard in Dublin. Um, but what I think is a humorous angle is we, as Irish people, are very loquacious and feel, uh, feel absolutely no bones about joining in on a conversation. So it's a constant source of humor as opposed to an individual uh, little tale. Right, well, there was one time that um, 50 Cent, the rapper, the American rapper, was in Dublin and um, they arrived outside the bar on a bus to, uh, I think the driver wanted to bring them to a typical Dublin pub, so they all came in here and they were standing at the bar waiting to get served and somebody recognised who it was and this conversation could be heard. The guy says, who's that? And he says, that's your man 50 cent. Ireland had just joined the Eurozone at this stage, so the other guy says, I suppose he's called half a euro over here. Because Dublin is like a zoo. 
Because if you used to live here in Dublin, it's really hard to live somewhere else. So that's actually my, my problem as well. I've been, in lo the, I've been living in Dublin now for 10 years, and it's like a zoo. So it's really hard to adapt somewhere else. The only one I had about um, was another, an Indian doctor. We have been playing a match up in Antrim um, on a Sunday afternoon. It was built in 1972 as well, and I went up for the high ball, and the other fella stood there and whack! Right across the kissery hit me. I had snots and blood flying everywhere. <laughs> but um, so I got back um, home that night, about half twelve that night, and I went round to the Richmond. And in the Richmond, there, the you know, man comes out. What's the matter with you? I said, I got a smack of a hurley playing a match today. Oh Jesus, Mary, you'll come in here straight away. And did you see the lorry? Did you? No, a hurley. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Jason. It was a hurdy, not a lorry. <laughs> oh, my name is Fatima. Sophia. Kim. Agatha. Peter. Peter. Christ. Dermot Hayes. Loda. Holy. My name is Dennis. Charlie. Stephen Yates. Uh, Michael. Um, Alan Purser. My name is Kyle Stevens. I'm Adam Colton. Gemma McGee. Dylan. Maggie. Karen. Ronan. Owen. Anna. Kurt. Laura. Leo. My name is Quiva Gallagher. Yeah, it's Izu. I'm Raymond. And Lisa. And Joe Tell. Hello. Vincent. Alright. Thank you. That's no here. problem. Thank you. Uh, brave pigeons. <laughs> Please don't put that up anywhere.